Okay, people, this is Dre, and today I um, took my bolts out my flywheel so I can take the flywheel off and replace the um, rear main seal on the 96 Chevrolet Tahoe. I tried to use take the bolts off manually. Of course, the flywheel was trying to turn, and um, I could hold the flywheel from turning, but why work hard when you can work smart I bought that electric impact wrench probably two three years ago if not more uh, of course there's no power outlet in this storage unit so I bought this power converter I'm a track and trailer drive I bought it to put in my truck at work I didn't feel like drilling holes through the floor and all that good shit so I decided to leave it alone and um Instead, I use it to power my electric tools when I'm in a remote area. Plugged it up to my van here. And these are cheap battery cables that I bought. Um, these wires are not what's recommended to run this converter. And these some bitches, they're not hot, but they are warm. Uh, I took out all six bolts. I had a problem with one of the bolts. Um, it wouldn't come out. But after taking the other five bolts out, I guess it decided to join its friends and come on out. Um, so now I got to um, take the flywheel off. And shit, I guess I could do that now, huh? Okay, of course I got my light. Okay, that makes life a lot better, doesn't it? As you can see, all the bolts are off of the flywheel. You know what? I should get me something to tie these fires up out my damn way. Because I am sick of them. Or I could maybe wedge them up against here. Right here. Oh, that's because it just falling this ass off. I should have never went off road in the damn white boy. Everything is muddy. Hey, the firewood is coming off. Whoa. Think I ought to change the flywheel? You know, seeing how I got this flywheel off, I think I might just go ahead and buy one. Is the phone upside down? I don't know, yeah. I guess you could say the real. You know, that might be the foil pan that's leaking. Not the real main seal. You know, I was wondering about should I replace that damn oil pan gasket. You know, somebody told me that when I bought this Tahoe, I was going to be rebuilding the transmission. Or better yet, just looking at things like, I mean, this is like looking at the inside of your wife. You know, you've been around a long time, but you just ain't seen certain things like that. Is that a real main seal, or is it the oil pan? Yeah, I just saw a drip of oil right there. It is... You know what? It's both. It's going to be the real main seal and the oil pan. I was wondering, should I change this damn oil pan gasket? It's a pretty decent motor, so I guess I will change the oil pan gasket too. That's going to be fun, because it's got that um, four-wheel drive thingamajig. Oil cooling lines too. Man, it makes me sick just thinking about it. Well, the real main... You know, I wonder, is it the real main seal slinging oil up on the oil pan? <sighs> I don't feel like going through all this. I'm just glad the damn van is running okay. I mean, it's running all right. Uh, but anyway, let me quit boring you all with my problems. Uh, at least I do know how to fix them. So I guess if I take these two bolts, this can drop down and move out my way. Yeah, 
Yeah. Maybe. And, um... And, uh, what? This pan... No, that, that four-wheel drive is going to get in my way. I don't think it's going to drop down low enough for me to, um... But then again, the motor is tilted back since I took the transmission. So if I jack the motor up, Jack the motor up some. This video is about my Tahoe, but I figure I'll show y'all something different a little bit. See that flat tire? That's what happens when you run 146 miles per hour on a tire that's almost need replacing. Well, it needs replacing. The mother. I hear air coming out. I can't. I, ain't, I keep forgetting to bring my damn. Windex, so I can find out where the air coming out. But anyway, what I'm doing now is um, I plan to replace the rear main seal, but I can't get the rear main seal off without dropping the oil pan. At least I don't believe I can. And to drop the oil pan, you gotta take the bolt up front is a 12 millimeter, the bolt there is a 12 millimeter, the rest of them are 10 millimeters. I thought it was going to be a bitch to get to the bolts on the other side of this um, front differential, but I only had to use a um, a uh, universal socket on that bolt to the left. So you got three holes there. The one on the right is a 12 millimeter. The one in the middle is a 10. It was a straight shot, but the one to the left of that. Had you to use a universal, which is right here. Well, some people call them swivels. I don't. My dad always called them universal. I don't know why. But anyway, um, the bolts back here. Oh hell! I guess I forgot to get that one now, huh? Damn sure did. See that one right there? Can you see? It? Oh, the light is. Okay, let's turn this way. Well, the light is where the camera is. Yeah, the, okay. That one's, that hole in the middle. Then that hole, oh no, that's the boat. Yeah. I forgot to get that boat. But uh, actually, I think I did break it loose. <sighs> These wasn't so hard. Um, this uh, oil cooler just took two boats. I always wonder what it looked like up on the other side. For some reason, I thought you had to screw this out, but it's stupid because you got those lines there, so it have to come straight out. But anyway, these two bolts here, and it dropped down. Um, went too hard, so now I just got to get the uh, the rest of the bolts out, and I think I'm gonna have to find some way to jack this motor up to get this oil pan to come down. And not hit this differential. It might make it. It might make it. But I think I'm going to have to jack the mold up some. Um, like I said. I wasn't planning on replacing the oil pan gasket. After I realized today it really wasn't leaking. Because all of this oil here is from the real main seal. Everything up here is dry. Pretty much dry. So the oil pan gasket is not leaking. But if you look. This bolt here, I think, goes up into that damn uh, remain seal thing. So I can't get it out because the remain seal has to slide off of that crankshaft before it can go up. So it looks like I'm going to have to drop the oil pan down. But I'm going to go ahead and replace the oil pan gasket if I can get the son of a bitch off. So, you know, that's one thing you ain't got to worry about. This truck, the only oil leak it has with 285,000 miles is the remain seal. Um, the valve cover gasket leaks and I've never replaced them because it hasn't really leaked a whole lot enough to make me want to replace them. But um, Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what's going on now. I wasn't going to do this video. But I'm like, you know, I might as well show y'all what's going on. And, uh, 
No, I haven't done the real. I haven't finished rebuilding the transmission. Actually, I hadn't even started to rebuild it. But uh, it's because I'm not really in a hurry. Really not in a hurry. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolts out. And all right, here's an extension. And I think I can reach this bolt here. All right, can y'all see? I think I can reach that bolt. Yeah, I, I did break it loose. At least I thought I did. Yeah, it's turning. Let me get a, a ratchet. Get that damn ratchet. Oh, I can't see. Oh, there it is. Can you see my hand? Okay, let's put that. Ooh, I'm glad I put my goggles on. You know, I don't mind going off-roading. You know, I'm probably the only black person that like to go off-roading. But that getting stuck shit, I don't, I don't like getting stuck. I really don't appreciate getting stuck. I've never had to have my truck towed out, and I'm planning to never have to. Cause I usually ride in two-wheel drive until I can't go no farther. Then I put it in forward drive and back the fuck and I think I'm gonna need a universal on this yeah it's sleep anyway I'll look I'm gonna holler at y'all next time y'all have a good day bye